how the hell did they do that? Tune in next episode to the I worst food that. review show ever because we can't describe any of the flavors because I have no idea what they taste like. They're just interesting and really good. There are certain unique things that can be controversial among all foreign travelers when traveling Brazil. And flashback to when we started traveling Brazil for the first time, we had found so many aspects that were so shocking to us. And we've always wanted to share our first impressions about Brazil with you here. This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the platform to create a beautiful online presence. So starting from number 10. So talking from experience, like in India, if you're a foreigner in India, you stick out like a sore thumb. Like in India, in Taiwan, in Sri Lanka, like all of these places, most of the places you stick out like a sore thumb as a foreigner, especially a white foreigner. <laughs> especially you. <laughs> Brazil is definitely not on the list of those. I look Asian. And when we had the cooking class, the chef, she told me that people in Sao Paulo, a lot of them look like me. Like, I have never been to Sao Paulo. I keen to see how people yeah. look like that. So basically, this is the first country that we both are in the same country and we both look kind like look like, a local. look like the local, which never happened before anywhere. You Brazil. let me know. Do I look like I'm Brazilian? So when you're in Brazil, there's no way that you can say like, you don't look like Brazilian. There's no such thing as well that this is the typical look of Brazilian. She got a big ass. <laughs> big ass and big boob. Made me feel so small. <laughs> it's kind of like the US. Yeah. yeah. That it's like it's just a male. It's part. like if you see Asians or you see African Americans or you see white people in like the US, you never know. Like they could be a tourist, but you can't assume they're a tourist. Like yeah. if you're in Asia and you see a white guy in Thailand, you're like, ah, that guy's a tourist. <laughs> But if you're in like the US or in Brazil, it's just like anybody can be a citizen, anybody could be a tourist. Nobody know who is who, okay? And this is the big stuff in Brazil. I'm always surprised to see that Brazilian, they always end their dinner with the coffee, no matter how late the dinner was. And now it's... It. It's 8.23 p.m. <laughs> Real Brazilian. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm not gonna sleep until tomorrow <laughs> if you have coffee right now. I was like, what time you plan on sleeping if you drink coffee at this point in time? Not for me. Not for me too. Thank you. <laughs> And we're talking about like Brazilian also have late dinner as well. Normally when you have appointment for dinner with Brazilian, it always start at least seven. Especially if you go to a steakhouse, you're gonna be there for like 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> so when you order a coffee, if you don't specify anything, expect your coffee to be served in a very, very small cup. Is it the smallest cup that I have ever seen? <laughs> Jimmy, let's go ask for coffee. Cafe? Ah, oh, coffee. Big cup. <laughs> Big cup. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like you ever see coffee. those things where they're in Europe and they're like, oh, tea time. And they're like <laughs> drinking that little glass of tea. That's like what they get their coffee in in Brazil. Wow. The coffee is so strong. Now I know why she gave us a really little cup. She said, that's yeah. for you guys. You don't need any more of this. Expect that the coffee that they serve oh. is always hot. No food. matter how hot it is at that specific point of time. Totally different from behavior that they love cold drink. When either it be like when you order wine, they always serve a glass of ice. Or when you or order like beer. Or like 90% of their drinks are frozen. And when we recommend something about iced coffee, they look at us as They're like, if you're definitely not a little. <laughs> Let's just give you the coffee we have and then move you on. <laughs> as if it was like just them to drink the, like the hot beer. Yeah, yeah. So it's just in front. Yeah. That's Patricia who works with us. That's Hello. Jimmy and Tom. Nice Hello, very nice to meet you. Just come on. One thing that confused me is that like sometimes they do kids once and sometimes they some people do twice so I don't really know like I should go for one or I should go for two kids Just go for all of them Some of them do three kids What we have heard is that it also depends on where that Brazilian comes from If they are from Sao Paulo, they, I think they do one only one kiss. If you meet with a person from Rio de Janeiro, they do twice. 
We gotta come up with the ultimate kissing guide. <laughs> you all know us Americans like to eat. <laughs> That's what we're good at. So, if you ever go to Brazil, Brazil actually offers one of the best things ever. So it's basically food by weight, unlimited food. So it's very common during lunchtime specifically. So you have like anywhere between 20 to 30 different like warm meal options and like 20 to 30 different cold meal options. And then you have drinks and all sorts of different things. But they just give you this ticket and you bring your food up you take your plate to the guy at the cashier. They're charging you for the weight of the food and they'll check off like how much weight you have. Ooh. The waiters are laughing at us. I think because like normally yeah. for breakfast, Brazilian, mm -hmm. they eat very yeah, light, guys. super, super light. And then I think lunch is always- That's their filler. Yeah, some of them also even have like cachaça, caipirinha before lunchtime. And they said that it's They're kind of like trying to loosen up before they get to work and eat. <laughs> they said help boosting the appetite. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so eye contact is very, very strong here. What I love and I think what is cool, I would say, about hanging out at the beach in Brazil is that even though there are so many street vendors wandering around the beach like trying yeah. to sell you something but what always intimidating for me when we travel somewhere else is that if you start making eye contact with the street vendor like they will come to you and they will try to like sell yeah, you something like crazy they'll just instantly try and sell you something because they think if you can't connect eyes with them that you want to buy it yeah but not happen like that in Brazil like people don't really care I feel like eye contact is a very simple thing that they don't Common really think thing. yeah also what we have even heard to the next level is that some people want us to be careful about being robbed and a lot of people told us that the trick is to make eye contact with a person so that like they know that you see them they know that you're you like aware them. of your surroundings if they know you're watching them most likely they're gonna target somebody else and leave you alone because you're way too aware of your surroundings. It kind of works in Brazil, like we carry the big camera all the time, like nothing really happened yeah. to us. I have yeah. the habit that I always eat things with hand. It's so much easier for me, like I am get used to doing that. Eating it by hand is yum. It's right and yeah. yummy, yeah. Yeah, but not apply in Brazil because they don't use their hand to eat. You might be considered rude, kind of rude. Yeah, it, was, might, it might just be considered like a little dirty a or like not, dirty. not like polite. And like pizza with knife and fork too, which I've Jimmy only used. seen like older people do that like in the US, but like everybody in Brazil uses fork and knife for pizza. In Brazil. Some yeah. restaurant, they have the napkins there and, and you like pinch it with a napkin. Yeah, you have to use the napkin. It's really it. sanitary. It's really smart and really yeah. good. Or toothpicks. They're so polite when it's come to it's eating. It's really sanitary food. and really good, especially during these times. And there are roughly like three main things that we realize about the beach culture in Brazil. It is totally, totally different from anywhere we have ever been. First of all, normally when you go to beach anywhere, we will see at least like some group of people bring the books, lay on the beach, yeah. read the books. You never see that in Brazil. Beach culture in Brazil is so active. They're like, like volleyball, like kicking a soccer ball. Yeah. They're playing frisbee or catch or like tennis back and forth. Yeah. Or like jogging or running yeah. too always there are always some activities going on on the beach it's not the place that you go there and just lay i mean girls do like getting tan right yeah but a lot of the guys are like yeah. always doing something yeah, and they, they even have like something. the beaches in rio have like huge like volleyball nets all down them so like there's people playing volleyball or there's gyms. They have gym. Yeah, the workout areas yeah. on the beach. So there's just tons of stuff to That's do. That's so cool. There are so many things to do on the beach in Brazil. That is something that we love. If you are kind of person that love people watching, there's tons of things for you to see and do. People dancing on the beach, play music on the beach. Now men, they don't wear the swim, what is that called? Swim no, they don't pants. wear like board shorts or swim trunks. They got them like banana, them banana hammocks. <laughs> you call it banana hammocks? Yeah, I don't know, I call it a banana hammock. <laughs> it's so tight, speedo. 
Brazil is quite known for it. If you're not wearing a Speedo in Brazil, then that's how they know you're a tourist. You gotta wear the Speedo. Tons of skin on skin contact. They love touching each other, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> little rubber rub, little kiss kiss on the cheeks. Like no matter you are old friend, you are new friend, you are stranger, like even for the strangers, they also love touching so much. In Asia, it can be a little bit controversial because that somehow can be the sign of too much affection, flirt, affection. flirting. Flirting or affection. Yes. It's like PDA in Asia. Comes up to number one. I think this is like something so obvious. Rio in Brazil because you have so many mountains, so many beaches, like just tons of things to do. Like, I mean, the only place in Cali or in the U.S. that you have that is California, where it's like you can go, and it's only one place in California where you can go from like the beach to the mountains in three hours. Uh, but like in Rio, you can go beach to mountains in like ten minutes. Yeah, that's so crazy. It's like really close and really beautiful. This is such a diverse city. Like we so far, we have been to Rio de Janeiro. We plan to travel more. A lot more, but Brazil. because. At that point in time is the situation of the peak of the crisis that everyone's have to rush flying home because we don't know what situation gonna happen next so that's why we have to we cut actually our extended trip. our trip exactly <laughs> and then we had to cancel the extension and fly home yeah so that's why we have to cut our trip short but definitely we'll we back. would love to explore more of brazil because fun fact about brazil is that this country is so big like it covers up to 50 percent of the whole continent of south america like literally it takes up like almost half of it it's huge just by seeing rio and then go from rio to the co uh, coffee valley yeah even though it's, it's like not one of so our far places yeah even though and even though it's not so far from rio de janeiro but things are just completely completely different just within two hours drive yeah. away that's crazy and we would love to really see more of brazil so before we end today's video, we'd like to take a quick second and thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. It's an all-in-one website to design and create your own website in very, very easy steps. So if you want to start a business, a blog, an online portfolio, or just help your business with creating some sort of online presence, Squarespace is an all-in-one website builder. So Squarespace allows you to not need that knowledge for coding. Yeah. You basically have templates, and you have options you can drag and drop and click and insert and you can basically customize and build your perfect website exactly the way you want within hours if you're interested go to squarespace.com for a free trial it's completely free so go to squarespace like right now click the link in the description and you can just look around see how it is and you can try it but when you're ready to actually launch Go to squarespace.com slash divert living to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. So if you see this guy walking on the beach in Brazil and he's dressed like this, he's got the caipirinha. You just ask him for a drink and you can get it. I love the outfit of that guy too. He's I've never seen dope. somebody deliver drinks like that. But he is the coolest looking street windows that we have ever seen. <laughs> oh, tea time. Oh, tea time. And they got their pinky out. <laughs> That's like that. <laughs> oh, tea time. <laughs> Dude, it's the, it, definitely the smallest cup that I have ever seen. <laughs> can you stop laughing so we can record this video, please? <laughs> okay. I'm nervous every time that we do this. Why? Let me make sure the audio's good. Alright, s. You're the loudest drinker.